on my hand, blood on my shirt, blood on my pants. I gotta get it off by doing this work. I gotta get this blood off. All my grips and bloods lost. You was bought with a price. How much that blood cost? It's the book of Genesis. Genesis chapter 1, verse 29. And God said, Behold, I have given you every earth bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree in the which is the fruit of a tree, yielding seed. To you it shall be for me. To you it shall be for me. So herbs, you know what I'm saying, and other trees, oranges, stuff like that, that's, that's to be eaten. Right, so so marijuana it can be eaten because it does heal your body. If you have ailments, you know what I'm saying, body aches, uh, it helps with uh, headaches. So helps I ain't going to help up with my gummies. No, no, you you got you got you got it. You got it with the gummies. Just don't just don't do it. Just, just don't do overdo it and and, to, uh, and and be just eat them just to get high. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. Yeah, you gotta be careful too because some of them got made with pork. The, the fat, the, what's it, gleaming? The, 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 the gelatin in it is, is made with pork, so you got to be careful with it. But you can, you can, you can make it on your own. You can make the brownies on your own. You can make the brownies. You can uh, extract the THC out of the brownies and make it on your own. You can get CBD oil as well, and it'll help out. It's, it's, good. it's good for stress, you know what I'm saying, stress reliever, right? So it's, it's good for a lot of things, but try to just do CBD oil, because that's, that's where you get the medical benefits from it without getting, you know what I'm saying? It's the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 38, verse 4. The Lord hath created medicine out of the earth, and he that is wise will not abhor them. He created medicines out, medicines out of the earth, so a lot of the stuff that we need to heal our bodies, like turmeric, that's a powerful, you know what I'm saying? That's a, that's a powerful, powerful uh, herb, a powerful root that's used, and it can, it can heal us. Yeah, sour sop, you know what I'm saying? A black seed oil. There's a lot of things that you can use without running to a doctor, without running to their medicines. They drug, they, they, them, them drugs, them chemicals, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's better, it's better than being a uh, natural stuff, bro. I had some brother talking about that sea moss yesterday. Sea moss? Oh. Yes, and I was I was trying to explain to him that it was not... It's the same, like, same thing like a fungus. It's not the same thing like the water, too. Right, that's what I was trying to explain to him, that it's under the water versus on the land. Mm -hmm. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 47, verse 12. And by the river upon the bank thereof, on this side and on that side, shall grow all trees for me, whose leaf shall not fade, neither shall the fruit thereof be consumed. It shall bring forth new fruit according to his months, because their waters they issued out of the fruit out of the sanctuary and the fruit thereof shall be for me and the leaf thereof for medicine so there you go that's good just just, just, pay, just don't roll it up and go backwards how y'all brothers doing how y'all been listening for a minute y'all seen the videos anything like that or y'all just came up and saw them Oh yeah, I'll, I'll praise, I'll praise. Would y'all stay down here in Utah? Huh? Okay, so what y'all wish I know about the Israelite like so far? You don't know nothing yet. You don't know nothing yet. All right, so y'all know that y'all wish y'all in this black and white. Who, who white? Your dad black? Your dad black? Same thing. Same thing. All right, so y'all pray. Basically, I already know that y'all most likely to be Israelite. All right, so what y'all got any questions? Anything? Or? Uh, yeah, right now I'm just listening. Yeah, listening. All right. So, all right. You, got, you got a question, dude? Right. So, I'm just going to go into how a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, think that the Most High has forsaken Israel, right? Or has has, has gotten rid of us, you know what I'm saying, has just has just put us off, you know what I'm saying, because of, our, of us messing up, right? But even, even through us messing up, even through us going off, he still loves us to this day. You know what I'm talking about? This is Romans 11, verse 1. I say then, 
that God cast away his people. Uh -huh. God forbid. God forbid. I mean, do we got to go to, to, to much else? You know what I'm saying? But a lot of Christians, they, they'll, they'll be right over that like it's just blacked out or something, right? You coming out And just go go skip to something like John 3.16. And John 3.16 trumps everything else that we're about to bring out. You see what I'm saying? For I am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Benjamin. God has not cast away his people, which he foreknew. What not? Ye not, what ye not what the scripture saith of Elias, how he maketh intercession to God against Israel, saying, Lord, they have killed thy prophets, and dig down thine altars, and I am left alone, and they seek my life. But what saith the answer of God unto him? I have reserved to myself seven thousand men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. So that right there is tell you it's gonna be a that righteous remnant that's not gonna bow down, gonna be Israelites, right? You know what I'm saying? So then you know that he's not he's not forsaken his servant to the point there's some people that's gonna that's gonna still be straight. There's some people that's still gonna do right. There's some people that's not gonna get that mark of the feet. Even so then at this present time. Also, there is a remnant according to the election of grace. According to the election of grace. We all know who the elect is. You know what I mean? The elect is Israel. But what's your question, bro? Uh, uh, somebody told me that um, as long as we stay in sin, they, they, they keep us in sin on purpose because they know they're going to rule. Mm -hmm. you know, I, I just haven't read that yet. Yeah, well, they... They not like some of them know that we Israelites. Like, you know yeah. like some of like the elite people. Yeah, the elite people. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? To know Israelites, but like the everyday, just Edomite, right, right. Israelite walk around. They, you know what I'm saying? They pretty well. A lot of Israelites, you know. But the everyday Edomites, whatever they, they, you know what I'm saying? Don't know they lost as well. You see what I'm saying? Who we are, right? right? So the elite people, yeah, they push propaganda to keep us in sin and keep us going off. That's why they put pork in everything. Right. Sure. So why you want to put pork in here? For what? You know what I'm saying? You want to put, you want to put, uh, mix, make it hard with mixed fabrics. You see what I'm saying? You know who run, who run, who run the world? And the elite run almost everything. You see what I'm saying? So they put everything in the media, push your homosexual hard, pedophilia hard. You see what I'm saying? That they do that media programming, they program in our minds, that's what they've been doing. So yeah, they have some idea, you know what I'm saying? Some of them do not all of them. They got some idea, but yeah, they want to keep us in sin. This is right here. This is the book of Judah, chapter 5, verse 17. And whilst they sin not before their God, why we sin not, you know what I'm saying? Why we did sin, we was doing right, boys. They prospered because the God that hated iniquity was with them. But when they departed from the way which he appointed them, they were destroyed in many battles, very sore, and were led captives into a land that was not theirs. And the temple of their God was cast to the ground, and their cities were taken by the enemies. But now are they returned to their God. You hear that? So when the Most High God is with us, they know that they can't touch us. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So when we do them right, this is the Most High God with us. You know what I mean? So yeah, they're going to try to keep us as far away from the Most High God so they can they can continue to just the time of the Gentiles. But it's all going to come down with God. You know what I'm saying? We're going to wake up through the spirit and power. You have my, you have my shit on no matter how hard they try to stop. You see what I'm saying? Go ahead. Verse 19. But now are they returned to their God and are come up from the places where they were scattered. Same so thing you're doing right now, right? Go ahead. And have possessed Jerusalem when their sanctuary is and are seated in the hill country, for it is desolate. So right now, you know what I'm saying, everything, you know what I'm saying, the time of the Gentiles, when we still rising up through the power and spirit of the most high, they can't stop it no matter how hard they try. We still gonna wait for we still gonna come out here and push this word. You know what I'm saying? The most high is much stronger than this, right? This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter uh, 1, verse 41. Then ye answered and said unto me, We have sinned against the You got the, you got the, uh, Judas, right? You got the, yeah, yeah. All right, bitch. Then he answered and said unto me, We have sinned against the Lord. We will go up and fight according to all that the Lord our God commanded us. And when ye had girded on every man his weapons of war, ye were ready to go up on, into the hill. And the Lord said unto me, Say unto them, Go not up. Don't go up there and fight. Just, Neither fight, for I am not among you, lest you be smitten before your enemies. 
most high guys, you know what I'm saying? Most, most, most they, 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 these boys get ready to go fight. You know what I'm saying? Most tell them, don't go out there and fight. Most high guys, I give them to you right now. Y'all gonna go out there and die. You know what I'm saying? They, they ain't listening to exactly what they did. When the third guy sued them. You see what I'm saying? Go ahead. Uh, this is Ephesians chapter 6, starting at verse 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So we got to be girded up in this truth, you know what I'm saying? So we don't wait, right? We got to put the full armor on you, know what I'm saying? Be, be a you know what I'm saying? By your house shot, bro, you know what I'm saying? By the Holy Spirit, following these law faith commandments, you know what I'm saying? So we don't, we don't fall short, you know what I'm saying? We don't fall into sin, right? So we sit out here as men that's, wake, that's woken up, all of us, are sitting out here to go out and wake up our other people, you see what I'm saying? So we can get out of here, so they can slip and lose their power like they do, you know what I'm saying? We can say losing their power every day. You know what I'm saying? It just it just goes so happy that with the slip and they power, it's more and more more and more of us waking up all over the world. And the world is just going crazy right now. You see what I'm saying? So we gotta be doing something right. Right? Any more any more questions? Y'all good? Like that give me uh everybody go back to the how how the most high and, and for some how you doing? How you doing today, sir? You doing good? You believe in the Bible? Yeah. Yeah. You know that you are, uh, what's your ethnicity? Like your race. My race? Yeah. Black race. Black. So you know, according to the Bible, you, you most likely be an Israelite, right? From the tribe of Judah. Because there's really no, no ethnicity of black, right? Because if you think about it, is it a language called black? Huh? Yeah. Is a language black? What do you think? You say not for sure. No, no, no. Ain't no, it ain't, no, it ain't no language called black. You know what I'm saying? That's why, for the most part, most of us speak in uh, English over here anyway. You see what I'm saying? That's a, that's an oppressive language. That's not our language. That's not the language that we came up with. You know what I'm saying? When you look at some of the, what is it, like the first Baptist churches that was uh, that, that we had coming out of slavery or whatever, it had Hebrew writing on it. You know what I mean? You can look that up on Google, you know what I'm saying? They still got it up there to this day. So we know that we spoke we spoke Hebrew as a people, not English. You know what I'm saying? So you would be an Israelite. You know what they mean to be an Israelite? Huh? Let me show you what it means to be an Israelite in the eyes of the Most High God. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, verse 15. It says, Only the Lord had a delight in thy fathers to set them, I mean, to love them, and he chose their seed after them, even of you above all people as it is this day. Even you, you above all people as it is this day. You above everybody. You know what I'm saying? Through all your years, through all your years in life, you know what I'm saying? You you've been, you know what I'm saying, treated probably treated like you the lowest, but you the highest. You know what I'm saying? You a king on this earth. You know that, right? You a God on this earth. You know that, right? You precious in the most high I mean in the most high God eyes. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. This is Deuteronomy 14 and 1. Ye are the children of the Lord your God. You, you are the church, you are the child of the most high God. Not everybody's a child of the most high God. You know what I'm saying? Like the Christian church, like to tell you everybody's a child of God. Everybody's not a child of God. Israelites are the children, children of the most high God. Go ahead. Deuteronomy 8 and 5. Thou shalt also consider in thine heart that as a man chasteneth his son, so the Lord thy God chasteneth thee. So the same way you got kids, right? So when your kids in this, then you what happened to them? Punishment. Huh? Punishment, right? So the same thing, that's, that's what the most high doing to us. You know what I'm saying? Our forefathers didn't listen. We still don't listen to this day. So we got sent to slavery. We got put in captivity. We got our status taken away from us, tricking down our land. You know what I'm saying? Our culture, our heritage, the way that we, the way that we should be, got taken away from us because we've been hard-headed time and time and time and time again. You know what I mean? So we out here to try to get that right and let you know who you are according to the most high God, not according to so-called white man, right? 
so-called white man got us walking around talking about we black, you know what I'm saying? So-called uh, Mexican, so-called native, all that come from, 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 from so-called white man, all right? Like, cause, cause you say, would you say you African, African-American too? No, you didn't say African-American, you just say black. You don't know? He said he don't know. He don't think he ain't African American. You're right. You're Israelite. Most likely from the tribe of Jews. Remember that, all right? If somebody asks you again, remember you're Israelite from the tribe of Jews. The king tribe. This is Isaiah 44 and 3. For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty and floods upon the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon thy seed and my blessing upon thy offspring. And they shall spring up as among the grass, as willows by the water courses. One shall say, I am the Lord's, and another shall call himself by the name of Jacob. So that's what that's what we out here doing. To teach you that you are the, are the child of Jacob. You know what I'm saying? To spring you up out of that ground. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. And another shall subscribe with his hand unto the Lord and surname himself by the name of Israel. That's your true, that's your true surname. You know what I'm saying? You will you will be like I don't know what your first name is, but you will be son the son of Jew. You know what I'm saying? That's who you are. Alright, you got? Yeah. Give me that. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter three from the top. They say, if a man put away his wife and she go from him and become another man's, shall he return unto her again? So I don't know how many brothers out here do it. You know what I mean? I would be person. But the most high God likens Israel to, to a wife, right? And likens us to a wife that went off and cheated, right? Spiritually, you know what I'm saying? Cheated, right? But he still is gonna take us back after all of that. So we know that we're not forsaken through all our mistakes, through all our downfalls. No matter what, he's still gonna take us back, man. Go ahead. Shall not that land be greatly polluted? But thou hast played the harlot with many lovers. Yet return again to me, saith the Lord. See, return unto me, return unto the Lord. Right? That's all we gotta do. Even though we played a harlot, even though we've been out here committing spiritual fornication. You know what I'm saying? We're going after other gods, looking at these other nations to save us. Wanna go vote. Like uh, Biden or Trump gonna do something for us. You know what I'm saying? Only thing Trump gonna do is <laughs> Lord willing crack out World War Three. You know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead. It's the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, verse 12. For the devising of idols was the beginning of spiritual fornication. Spiritual fornication, devising, devising of idols. You know what I'm saying? We got more, there's more than just says the red boy shit that we go off with. We go off with worshiping our damn self. Huh. You know what I'm saying? Our people got that bad. They got that real bad. That they, they'll tell they'll tell you, no, I don't believe in, I don't believe in the God of the Bible. The, I, 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 the God is within me. And then we'll ask them, well, what can we learn about your God? My God is in me. So you say you are your God. You're your own God. You're your own power, right? So we, we idolize ourselves just as much as just as much as says the rare bullshit. You know what I mean? Jeremiah 17 and 5. Thus saith the Lord, Cursed be the man that trusted in man and maketh flesh his arm, and whose heart departed from the Lord. Cursed be the man that trusted in man, right? That's why we're walking around in this current state right now, because we trust in everybody else for salvation, for to be saved but the most high God. You know, we try everything else up under the sun, right? We try, we try playing, playing the system, we trying to change the system, you know what I'm saying? Get in it and change it, then work. We try playing nice, you know what I'm saying? Putting on the white face, trying to talk like the white people, let the jobs and all that kind of crap, get a, get a button up, college degree, getting all that, and we still in the same position. You see what I'm saying? So ain't nothing gonna work, right? Only gonna, anything else that's gonna work is, is, is the most high God. That's it, man. That's it. It, it, it just, that's it. I don't know how high else to say it, right? Go ahead. <laughs> For he shall be like the hearth or the heath in the desert and shall not see when good cometh, but shall inhabit the parched places in the wilderness and a salt land and not inhabit it. Blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord and whose hope the Lord is. For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters and that spreadeth out her roots by the river and shall not see when he cometh. But her leaves shall be green and shall not be careful in the year of drought neither shall cease from yielding fruit. Oh. So see that? So if you keep on trusting, 
in these other nations and these other people to try to help out, try to help us out, we're going to constantly be in the state that we in. You know what I'm saying? The dry state and the down state, the distraught, destroy. You know what I mean? But we, but if we trust in the most high God and do what we're supposed to do with him, then we will, we will, then we'll start prospering. You know what I'm saying? Then we'll come up as a nation, together as one, as we're supposed to be. You know what I mean? This is Matthew chapter 3, verse 8. Bring forth, therefore, fruits meet for repentance. And think not to say within yourselves, we have Abraham to our father. For I say unto you, that God is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. So don't get cocky just because, you know what I'm saying, we Israelites, right? You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't, don't just think that that's just it. No, we still got to put in the work. We still got to have the faith. You know what I'm saying? We still got to hold ourselves responsible and do what we supposed to do for, for the most high God, right? Go ahead. And now also the ax is laid unto the root of the trees. Therefore, every tree which bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Cast into that fire, man. Every, every tree, you know what I'm saying, that don't bring forth good fruit, going to be casting in fire. That's that second death, man. That's where all of us are trying to yeah. escape, especially here in America, because this is where the second death is going to be. In. America is going to be blown to, to, to smithereens. Right. And we don't want none of our brothers, none of our people to experience that. You see what I'm saying? We have faith that we're going to get out of it. You know what I'm saying? And we want, we want to extend that faith and extend the opportunity to our people. You see what I'm saying? Through the, through the most high God. <laughs> this is the book of second. Going back to uh, this is the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 2. For I am jealous over you with a godly jealousy. For I have espoused you to one husband, that I may present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. See that? So he's a, he's a jealous? He's, a, he's jealous, right? So that, that shows you if, you, if you have something that you get jealous over, that means you love that. You see what I'm saying? You're not going to get jealous over something that you don't love. And he, he didn't, did he ever ex, uh, express jealousy over another nation? No. You see what I mean? He expressed jealousy over the nation of Israel. He loves Israel, pure point plain simple. And with that being in the New Testament, that they try to go through, go to and Paul's writings, you see what I mean? They told you that Israel is not forsaken. You see what I'm saying? This is Deuteronomy 6, 14 and 15. You shall not go after other gods of the gods of the people which are round about you. For the Lord thy God is a jealous God among you. He's a jealous God, man. Right? So he gets jealous just like we get jealous. Right? He experiences, we experience the same thing he, he, he feels. You see what I mean? We not we not above him to where we we have emotions that he don't have. We he created us so we gonna have what he has. You see what I'm saying? So we going after these other gods the same way for us men to 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 uh to uh go after another woman. You know what I'm saying? A pop another man's woman, right? Or same thing for our woman to 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 have sex with another man. Everybody gonna be distraught and jealous. And just like, I can't trust you no more. You see what I'm saying? So that's the same way the Most High God is dealing with us, man. That's why we got to go through this, right? Because we see hard-headed individuals that have to learn our lesson, like I said, time and time again. Ever since we came out of Exodus, bro, we was going out. They just talked. Who just, who just said that? We came out of Exodus making that golden camp. You know what I'm saying? After we seeing the power of the Most High God, and He's saving us and rescuing us out of captivity, you know what I'm saying? And bringing then on top of that, after we did that, He still said He would give us the land and He gonna kill the uh, the Canaanites for us, and we still was going out. You see what I'm saying? So how much worse is it to this day, right now, this day? You know what I'm saying? Going through all the other captivity, going through that Greek captivity where we really lost who we were. You know what I'm saying? When we really start going after, start going after those Greek gods. You know what I'm saying? And now all the way to, to, to this day, the most high God is like the furthest thing from our mind. When he needs to be the number one. You know what I'm saying? Getting the wisdom, getting the understanding, keep these laws, statutes, commandments, need to be the number one thing that's on our mind at all times. Everything else come after that. You can still have fun. You can still do your thing. You know what I'm saying? But the first thing you need to do is make sure you please the most high God in every in every day. You know what I'm saying? Every day you move. Good. Deuteronomy 6 and 4. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all 
thine heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy might. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart. So that's that's the commandment, man, right? And that's one of the ones they have to say uh, Christ came to gain, right? Love, love the Lord God with all our heart. Now we're supposed to have been doing it. We have junk. You know what I'm saying? We're supposed to have been doing it. It's nothing new. Christ didn't bring that new, new to us. You know what I'm saying? We might try to refresh it and give it to us because we was going off, right? But we're supposed to have been doing it. This is the book of Malachi, chapter 3, verse 14. You have said it is vain to serve God and what profit is it that we have kept his ordinance and that we have walked more uh, Malachi 3 and 14 you have said it is vain to serve God and what profit is it that we have kept his ordinance so that's what our people say right now so right now right now they'll come up to us walk up to us and they'll be like man work 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 out it man i don't believe in this you ain't doing nothing for me man y'all trying to do this and they ain't gonna get you if i eat pork bro i ain't going to hell no way god ain't gonna keep me eating pork you know what I mean? People literally die from eating pork. You see what I'm saying? To build up all kind of diseases from, from eating pork, right? What's up, bro? You got a question? Just listen. Man, you uh, believe in the Bible? Hey, you know my head's ready. Yeah, you read it sometimes what? So yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no. So uh what's your ethnicity? <laughs> yeah, I started. Huh? Go ahead, man. They like they like this. Yeah, right, man. No, no, I got I got I got a quad, you know what I'm saying? So I know how to, how to approach, you know what I'm saying? Because they, they they know a little bit more than you do right now. You do. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to see where you at. I admit, so basically what it is, most likely, if, if your boy, if your dad, go back, you know what I'm saying, being a black man, Hispanic, Haitian, Jamaican, you know what I'm saying, native or, or, or anything, what is it? Any one of these uh, neighbors on the side right here, you know what I'm saying, you most likely be an Israel, be an Israel, right? You look at child of God, you know what I'm saying? So we, what we try to do is sell our people to the fact that the law says you snatch them in the man. You know what I'm saying? All of them. Well, all of them are just going to get into the game, people. You know what I'm saying? People to the best of their ability. You know what I'm saying? And keep faith in how it's shot. And he don't get inside of this mess. You know what I'm saying? So we, we, won't, we won't have to have no more George Floyd viewers, though. You know what I'm saying? We won't have to have that no more. You know what I'm saying? We ain't going to have to have no Breonna Taylor's. You see what I'm saying? So that's what we're trying to do. Oh, okay. Go ahead. It's the book of Job, chapter 21, verse 14. Therefore they say unto God, depart from us, for we desire not the knowledge of thy ways. That's what they say to us, right? We come out here with Friday, Saturday, even sometimes throughout the week, brothers doing fly duties, you know what I'm saying? And it's literally what they say. Man, everybody trying to hear that. My best friends in the world tell me that. I ain't trying to come over to your house, bro, because I can't, I can't blow like that, and you're going to be telling me I'm, I'm wrong. I don't want to, I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to get rebuke. Literally what they did. You see what I'm saying? And I don't even tell them nothing no more. I can tell you already, my name is shit. But it's, it's, it's your spirit convicted because you know you're doing something wrong now. So now you don't want to come around me. You see what I'm saying? Verse 15. What is the Almighty that we should serve him? And what profit should we have if we pray unto him? So who, who is he that we should serve him? What are we going to get out of serving him? Literally what our people say still to this day. Right? They they acting like waking up, not blind, being able to hear. You know what I'm saying? Having all ten toes and hands. They act like this nothing. There's people out there that wish they had that that pray that they could have what we have that we take for granted. But our people act like this nothing. Right? If they don't have the house like uh like Jay Z now, if they ain't got the uh the marriage like Jay and Beyonce, then they ain't got nothing at all. You see what I'm saying? Ungrateful people always been that way. Yeah. This is John 3 and verse 19. And this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world and men love darkness rather than light. These men love darkness, man. They love standing in the dark. They like damn roaches. You know what I'm saying? They love, they love standing in the dark, bro. Go ahead. Because their deeds were evil. Uh -huh. For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. Exactly. They don't want to come into this light because they don't want to be reproved. Like I was saying earlier, they don't want to make that change, bro. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to make that change for the most high God. I put it like that. But if it come, if it come to making a change for some change, they're going to make that change. You see what I'm saying? With each. Put, put, hey, hey, give a, give, give a nigga 60 k. I bet he going to change in about one day. You know what I'm saying? He's going to try to change in his vernacular. 
the way he walk, you know what I'm saying? The way he approach situations, he changes. Yeah, he gonna pull up his pants. I don't want pants sagging over there. Somebody walk up to him, say, say, man, I know a way, you know what I'm saying? We get about 60, 80 pay, bro. All right, guys, we own the suit, we go get it. I bet they gonna do it. You see what I'm saying? For the most high God, they ain't gonna do that though. They're not doing it. You know, so like you said, like uh, and, and what was that uh property you just read? Yeah, what what profit is it? They, they, they look for some, for some physical profit, not spiritual. You know what I'm saying? We're starting our riches in the kingdom now. You know what I'm saying? So, it's the book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse uh, 24. Because I have called and you refused, I have stretched out my hand and and no man re regarded. But you have set at naught all my counsel and with none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. I'm going to laugh at your calamity. So what we're going through right now is some music to the Mosai. You know what I'm saying? Because we still not doing our part as a nation. You know what I mean? So we out here panicking when we get in a tough situation, a little hardship, we panic. As soon as we get in a, in a situation where we feel like we okay, then we're not panicking no more, then we're not praying as much no more, then we back it out from Mosai. You know what I'm saying? Even even to the so-called Christians, hip, as, as hypocritical as they are, when they go going through a tough situation, they'll start hitting the church up. You see what I'm saying? When they get after a tough situation, that ain't even going to church no more. You see what I'm saying? That ain't back partying, they back blowing, doing whatever they were doing in the world. You see what I'm saying? Go ahead. Uh, I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh, when your fear cometh as desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you. So he gonna mock at all our anguish, at all our pain. He's mocking us, right? I mean, it's not a good feeling to be mocked when you're in a down situation. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna be kicked when you're down, right? But all we got to do is listen to the most high God and start seeing all these idols. You know what I'm saying? The, uh, the uh, uh, Muslims, the uh, Buddhists, Catholic. You know what I'm saying? Since the real boys yeah. And, and, and so, like I said, to ourselves, start, start worshiping ourselves, man. Because we ain't nobody. You know what I'm saying? What is dirt? What is, what is it? Dust and ashes that it should be exhausted? You know what I'm saying? We ain't nothing, man. Right? We vessels that, that was made to do the will of the Most High God. It's just simple. You know what I'm saying? Don't try to overcomplicate it by trying to be somebody that you're not. Right? Go ahead. Uh, this is Galatians 6 and verse 7. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. So what we sow, you know what I'm saying? Our forefathers sowed wickedness, spiritual fornication. They had to pay for it, you know what I'm saying? We kept doing the same thing, so now we got to pay for it. And our kids got to pay for it, and we don't get it right. You know what I'm saying? Everybody say they love their kids. Everybody, everybody say they love their kids, you know what I'm saying? Boy, you willing enough, you love your kids enough to get right with the most high God so they can live a better future. You know what I'm saying? Like I was saying earlier, we might we might not be the ones that, that live perfect our whole life. You know what I'm saying? Or kept the commandments our whole life, but our kids got a chance to. You know what I'm saying? I got a 10 month old right now. She ain't never gonna eat pork. You see what I'm saying? She ain't gonna never do nothing. You know what I'm saying? My guy, uh, Jay and uh, Darden, they only ate pork one time like their whole life. He 10 and she not. You see what I'm saying? So they got a better chance than us to do things right if we teach them the right way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It says uh, in Hosea 4 and 12, my people ask counsel at their stocks, and their staff declareth unto them. For the spirit of whoredoms hath caused them to err, and they have gone a whoring from under their God. They sacrifice upon the tops of the mountains, and burn incense upon the hills, under oaks and poplars and elms, because the shadow thereof is good. So, to, to, to us, it's good to go out to these other guys and sacrifice to their guys, but not, but, and then we, then we leave our God alone. You know what I'm saying? Just leave him destitute. Go ahead. Therefore, your daughter shall commit hoarding. They should do what? Commit hoarding. So now your daughter's going to be out here being some force. And what, what, what most of our daughters out here doing? You know what I'm saying? Right? Twerk. Twerk. Twerk all day. That's how you see, young. Oh, that's, how, that's how they know how to do right. You know what I'm saying? Try to twerk. I'm going to see the funky booty all the time. <laughs> and your spouses shall commit adultery. Spouses shall commit adultery. That's what our people literally going to do, do, do nowadays, right? All the time. It's a cool thing to commit adultery now. I got you. I will not punish your daughters when they commit whoredom, nor your spouses when they commit adultery. For they'll for themselves are separated with whores, mm -hmm. and they sacrifice with harlots. Mm -hmm. Therefore, the people that don't not understand shall fall. So everybody's going to fall for that, man. Right? 
he not, he not gonna he not gonna point us down because you did wrong. You see what I'm saying? Y'all, you you went out, so you did him like this. You gonna see what it feel like. You see what I'm saying? You can be the hardest against the Most High God, so you gonna get to see what that pain feel like. And we all walking through this pain together as a nation. You got a question? Yes, sir. Uh, what are you, so what are you supposed to do as far as like with your children? You just find them just being constantly rebellious. You know, and, and you you talk. You know what I'm saying? They, you know they they understand. Yeah, and they so, so, constantly being rebellious. Yeah, constantly though. So like like you talking about like a small child or teenager. 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 Yeah. Okay. So with teenagers, I mean, you can. You can, I'm going to show, I'm going to tell you what I would do. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 13 and 24. He that spareth his rod hateth his son, but he that loveth him chasteneth him betimes. So you're going to have to, some, some way, somehow, get it, get we're rough with him, you know what I'm saying? Being a teenager, you can't just like, you know what I'm saying? I might be a little, so I can still just whoop him a little bit. But you might have to, you know what I'm saying, do something more extreme. You see what I'm saying? And then you have to practice patience as well. Because like some people, they just don't, they're not going to get it right off. You see what I'm saying? They're going to have to go through certain things in life and let the most high teach them. You see what I'm saying? And then eventually they might come around. But then you do also have people that's just not going to get it. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So you don't give, don't give up on them. You know what I'm saying? Be patient with them. And you just keep trying. You know what I'm saying? Because you never know. They might Someday they might get it. But they can continue to be being rebellious, being rebellious, and you're gonna have to go ahead, you know what I'm saying? You know, look the ass. Yeah, yeah. 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 This is the book of Sirach, chapter 7 and 23. Has thou children? Instruct them and bow down their neck from their youth. Has thou daughters? Have a care of their body, and show not thyself cheerful toward them. Marry thy daughter and okay. Yeah, so you wanna you wanna try to get them as early as possible. You see what I'm saying? That's why with Proverbs 22 and 6 say you train up a child the way it should go and, they, and then they're not gonna depart from it. You see what I'm saying? So you wanna try to get them as early as possible because the older they get, the harder it's gonna be. They to learn the ways of the world. They in school now, you know what I'm saying? They they, they falling out all these entertainers. So now it's gonna be a harder thing for you to deal with.